Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nut, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. We're still in the crew quarters looking for the room of the man that's. Well, he might be called Will Mitchell, but we're not entirely sure because this is supposed to be his room. But we don't have the keycard for it, although we did get the keycard to the cook's room. And according to the, the, the game, this actually is the cook's room. But we can't enter it from here, which is a bit weird. Can't get into Will Mitchell's room. So, that either means I missed um, his key card, although I think I'm pretty sure I picked it up. Can't open that up either. There's another part to this. Uh, but first off, do I want to go back quickly? I'm just going to take this EMP I accidentally dropped off at the wall there. Quickly going to go back. And see if I can't find the key on his person. And of course it is. I forgot to pick it up. There we go. Will Mitchell's cap in the car. Uh, and the game is saving, so it might as well drop something off at my feet in a second. But let's get back to the crew quarters themselves, the cabins. I'm running around the space station filled with aliens. That's fine. That's fine. I lost my way already. It's over there. It's over there. And there we go, with the key we can open up his room, and maybe we can find some goodies in here. But first, as always, the safety psychoscope to check for mimics. Seems like we're pretty fine. He has a few tomatoes, don't know why the music's all freaking out. Oh, he has some fruit though. That's uh... I don't think he'll mind. The station don't shit anyway, so tomato, tomato, sunburst banana, and there's another tomato over here. That's more fruit for me. Yes, I'm gonna break everything. Uh, now we have a Kings and Way sparkling wine. And a transcribe from Will Mitchell. What the hell did you do to that thing, Mitchell? Sounds like an anti-waffle commercial. Well, I didn't see it as an override per se. It was just the operator's conversation sequencer. They're usually so grim. <sighs> do you know how many security protocols you broke? Well, Morgan said it was all right. Even helped me. I'm Operator Skillet in this show. Hi, you sound like you could use a healthy dose of sunburst banana pudding. <clears throat> this is an A-B conversation, Skillet. Apologies, Chef. I'll see my way out. Okay. So clearly, that was not Will Mitchell. Well, the guy we talked to was not Will Mitchell, which makes sense, because Will Mitchell kind of sounds like an American name. And, I mean, the cook clearly had a different accent. So that's interesting. So we need to find this Macken Noble Chef Award. We got that. We can give that to that man. But that man is clearly not who he says he is. So let's check out Will Mitchell's terminal as well. I think I can hack this thing. There we go. Hacking succeeded. He hacked that, and he has two emails. Food request for Alex. Sorry to contact you during your downtime, but Alex has been working through the 4 o'clock shift and has put in a food request at the front desk. He says you know what he likes. Could you bring his meal to the executive suites? The code to the graph shaft is 7490. Okay, and then the emote upgrade. Uh, Morgan. Hey, I guess you must have shifted cafeteria visits or taking food in your quarters now, but I wanted to say thanks again for the emote upgrade. You should hear Skillet now much better. So that's the operator we heard on the, uh, the recording, the transcribe. Don't think Danielle liked it, so hopefully that doesn't cause any trouble between you two. Don't be a stranger, still plenty of your favorite snacks on stock. Just swing on by, swing on by whenever you get a breather. Appreciate the help, Will. No problem, don't worry about Danielle. Okay, so I think we heard about Danielle before that we would have uh, ignored her since they should know each other. Now let's get back to the cook and see what he's all about. I don't want to kill the man, so that's probably where the disruptor stun gun comes in if I need to subdue him. Uh, I know I still have to do the gym, the fitness center and the crew cabin, but Let's go and check out the cafeteria there? first. There we go. There he is. You still alive? Huh? Huh. What if MU comes back? Let MU in? But. But? Okay, he just stayed quiet there. 
I don't really mind. What is that? Is there... What's that noise? What is that? You find it? You back? Come to window. Show me. Yeah, I will, but... There's some really weird noises coming from this room. I think I'm fine. Let's go and show this to the cook, although I don't trust him one bit now, because he's definitely not who he says he is. Hello! So that must be Skillet then. Yeah, there we go, Skillet. Um... Okay, let's uh, talk to Will. You found something? Hmm. <sighs> Have to let you in, <laughs> promised. Go round, beside entrance. Okay. There we go, we can enter the kitchen now. Although I feel like we're gonna get ambushed in a second. There we go. There's a lot of blood in here. Wait! A minute! <clears throat> I'm gonna get the shot. There's a lot of blood in this place. Okay, so there goes the door. Hello, Will Mitchell. You're safe now. The beasts, they cannot get in. But... Look at this. We have food, but no water. This pressure regulator, it is broken. System automatic cut off until fixed. You can find a replacement part in greenhouse, I think. With water, we can wait for rescue. Oh, no God damn it. Huh. Do this favor, I'll let you into freezer. That's where I hid all the puppets the beast sent first. Maybe they have useful things for you, no? They might have, but I found that regulated before. Oh, wait. I can actually... I oh, know, see? But well, I can actually repair it like this as well. Safe in here. So there we go, let's take that and place it, because we fixed the one that was broken down here. And you there we go. Fix? Mm, smart one. Here, I open freezer now, like I promised. Lots of dead puppets and supplies. I mean, those puppets were your co-workers, I suppose. But this is still not Will Mitchell, so that's a bit weird. There's lots of food in here, though. There we go, and a note. So four jellied eels, two Pacific sliders, and three Siskak Yunagi rolls. Okay. So definitely a lot of food. A few recycling no charges. Behind your eyes. <laughs> no black swimming. Others hmm. come. Talk to a human. Get me to open the door. Um. I'm gonna have to see if he's still to be trusted. No, no, sorry, turn that Go off. Go in. Take whatever you want. Only leave puppets for me. What? Why? Let's talk to Skillet. So she's been adapted by huh? me as well. And you. And you. Can Come I on. talk to this guy again? I already heard this name before. Where? The organ you, sister of Alex you. She's one of the station's co Quiet now. Hasn't been around much for several months, probably, because we've been reset every single when time. Puppets can get in, explode like bombs. The beast lays eggs in their head, make them explode. So this is gonna be bad, right? He's gonna lock me up in there. I'm gonna have to. S I mean, we know this if guy is not to be trusted. Jesus eat. Christ, stop talking. Stop talking. I'm trying to say a few things here. So there's not a fabricator here as well. Do I need to make... Maybe I'm using disruptive batteries quite a bit, but that also takes two metal. I'm really short on metal. I'm not short on anything else, but I'm really short on metal. Let's head in. Here we go. I'm having my stun gun ready. And there we go. And we were frozen by the fake Will Mitchell. 
This is really Bioshocky. piece of junk. Are you awake, am you? Frozen dead, maybe? I take Puppet's toy screen. I see all the names in the list. Your name, too. Means you listen from now on. I know who you are. Am you. Daughter of William You. William. Transtar. Always playing with lies. Now, maybe I watch these beasts eat you, like you tried to feed me to them. Or, cold kills you first, make you into a frozen puppet. So he says there's a beast in here. So that's great. I don't know what that is. So, escape the freezer. There's definitely some knives around, and we know there's still a few people around here. So the ooh wow, he just okay. So that's what he does with the puppets, or that's what happens to the puppets. Yeah, because that's why there was one in the glue stuff frozen, because of course they self-destruct once they get close. So that's probably why the heads were all removed. But that's three noodle molds. That's great. I'm gonna save up all and everything first, because I want to see, is there anything here? Okay. It said take ammo, probably because of the Q-beam that was there. But more food, and a 0 point size 19 whatever chipset. And that does, you have a chance to cast a Psy Power for free. That's a cool one, if you manage to get here with Psy Powers, that is. That is, yeah, not, not for me though. Oh, weapon upgrade kit, that's also great. And a transcribe from Abigail Foy. Let's Abby, listen to that. I'm still in deep storage. I don't know why you won't pick up. I hope you're safe. If things get bad, I'll jettison a data vault and spacewalk along the hull. Come to the fitness center and bang on the window by the pool. I should feel the vibration. And Abby, please don't take any chances, all right? I... Be safe. Bang on the window by the pool. That is... Cool. I'm assuming I can do that. I still have four more bullets, so I think I can use that to do this. And then that melts the ice. Which is probably what the game wants me to do. Signal Danielle in the fitness center. That's great. We need to still need to go there anyway. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just gonna plug that again, because I'm a good boy. There we go. Don't wanna don't wanna have that happening. This thing is is this thing blocking something? Just gonna put that over here so nobody can get in my back. Is this? No, there's nothing in there. I could have just moved it, but I just wanted to see what happens if you uh, put the torch to that place. Okay, it's starting to get really, really dark. There we go. Then we can open this up. Oh! What was that noise? Is, is Will still alive? Because I heard the mimic noise. Okay. And that's a third that's for some reason not active. Okay. But, as I said, I'm gonna actually use this one to make more uh, 9mm bullets. And then I'm gonna make some more disruptive batteries because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to use those for later. There we go. Now, I have a lot of... I think I have a few weapon upgrade kits, so I have three. I have an extra Q-beam, which I can turn into metal later on. And I have eight Neuromolds right now. So that means I could either go for heavy lifting this thing, so leverage three. And that could help me out, but I think the more immediate effective one is the lab tech one. So that would allow us to upgrade all our weapons, all our fancy weapons, including the Q-beam. Which is, uh, I'm starting to think that's going to be our more interesting one. And of course the disruptive stun gun, so the more versatile weapons. I'm going to go for lab tech first. After lab tech we can then go to leverage 3. Because uh, I don't think, yeah I could go into these things as well, but for now... Could upgrade the sneak attack, but for now I'm gonna go with the lab attack one. So that means I can immediately use my three weapon upgrade kits on the Q beam and the disruptive stun gun. I have another disruptive stun gun as well, by the way. 
it's actually not worth that many materials, but it's something. So Q-beam, definitely power. There we go, power increased. And then we can do that again. Firing time could be increased by another second, which is a lot. And it only gives me even less than 10% extra damage, so... Let's increase the firing time. There we go. And then we can use the other one to go onto the disruptive stun gun. Let's upgrade that bad boy. I could upgrade the power again. So that's the duration of the sun effect and amplifies damage to robotic targets. Or we could go with the number of shots going up to 7, which is 2 extra shots, which is... Yeah, that's going to give us more bang for our buck, so that's going to go first. And then other, later on we can go into the power part of the stun gun. But that's a nice upgrade. That's really, really nice. But now, I feel like I should probably equip the bad boy. Reload. There we go. And see what we can do. The skillet is still here, but of course... The bad guy is gone. This door doesn't seem to open on its own. Oh god! Oh wow! He almost killed me with a... Recycling you, charge. You're still alive. Good. We learned to make mines in Ukraine from recycling Transtar chunk. Wanted to share knowledge with you. Damn. He almost killed me there. I need to keep my eyes open. That was the first time I saw a trap like that. So I've eaten up a bit. But I need to keep in mind that we can get... Ambush at any moment now. And I feel like there's something new in this area now. Ooh, banana. Banana. And by the way, the uh, health regeneration does stack on multiple food items. So I keep hearing that noise. Keep hearing that noise, but for now... Doesn't seem to be anybody here. I haven't found a recycler here, did I? It's probably one pretty close by, but the fitness center window... Wait a second. Why is that marked? Oh, okay, it is over there, of course. It is over there. Um, there's the recreation center as well. But I'm going to go to where we know we can find some stuff first. There's a few people mind-controlled over there. Maybe I can find the telepath in the fitness center as well. Because I can now pretty surely open this up. So... 9079. Please go down again. You are in control, Betty. Okay. Are they. Are they dying or what is happening? Oh, wait, wait. Please don't kill yourselves. I could probably can, buddy. I think I saved a few people there, um, but now I need to probably charge this up because there's multiple people in here. There we go. So as we understood it, we need to stun these people because otherwise they might explode. Did I kill somebody with that? I feel like I might have accidentally killed this guy. I think he killed himself. Does that count as a kill? I'm hoping not, because I'm trying not to kill anybody in this playthrough. But, Emma BT. Let's take the transcribe and listen to that. It's Danielle. <laughs> trying to reach Abby, but she's not answering. Please. Don't. Come. Emma? Please. No. Not. Emma, I, I can barely hear you. Safe. Is Abby with you? Are you okay? Yes. Not me. It's, it's not. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. You can't. Okay. And she's also carrying a note. Rosalind's treasure map. Treasure map for Rosalind Swift. So we have multiple staircases here. And the marking L1. With no other indication. We had that in life support as well. But maybe the eye means that we need to use the psychoscope in that direction. That might also be the case, but... There's multiple... Oh god, there's a telepath, by the way. There's a telepath. Um, how am I gonna do this? 
Can I recycle a telepath? I don't think I can. Um, silence pistol. I don't have a lot of ammo for the silence pistol. So I think I'm going to first scan it, obviously, because it's the final time I can scan one. That's going to give us a full research bar on the telepath. So there we go. We now got Kinetic Blast 3, apparently. This guy is waving at us, Gary Snow. Is that everyone? Because if that is everyone... Oh no, there's definitely two more over there. I can't scan those. Um, will you please? Please, please scan quicker. Please scan quicker. Because that gives me the full research on humans. Which is interesting. Uh, let me drink for a second. There we go. That two health that was missing. I can take another wrench. But... Oliver, also unconscious, so that was the guy that I knocked out. Quickly checking everything here. Because I feel like we need to deal with that thing as well. I'm going to save as many people as I can. Even though I might have already lost that trophy. For not killing anybody. Ooh, nine bullets, that was nice. Suit repair. Go! Oh god, no, 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 no. Don't die, don't die. Charge him, charge him. I think I hit him there. Just in the shoulder. Okay, he's down. Whew! Didn't expect anybody to be there. Okay. Okay, but it's cool that we have that many shots now. I uh, think I checked all these, right? Yeah, I did. I did. Not this, these ones. Everybody loved the flexi-foam bolts. It's a really cool detail. That everybody was really into that uh, Huntress bolt caster. There we go. Sorry, Harvey. Sorry, Harvey. But better unconscious than dead. Better unconscious than with a... A blown up head. Did she, did she come closer as well? Hmm. It's a bit too far away. So upstairs is the fitness center. Which seems to be pretty... Empty. Even mimics wise. This place seems to be fine. And there's another Nero mold in here. Okay, let's check the files. And that's the Huntress Boltcaster again? I think we saw that, right? Yeah, we saw that. And then we have two emails. Personal training session. Emma, as you know, Morgan's availability is going to be extremely limited in the upcoming weeks. She'd like to schedule her personal training sessions tomorrow if possible. Could you possibly adjust your schedule to accommodate this window? Morgan would greatly appreciate it. The key code to the executive suites is 7490. Executive suites. And then the treasure hunt. Each of you should have a map fragment by now. I managed to hand them to some of you in person. Others might have noticed a new file on your workstation after the last session. They are map fragments. Work together and figure out the clues. Once you have, return to my quarters and you will be given your prize. Okay, I think we found, we found a few maps already. I think we found at least two maps. So there we go. Emma, Emma's map, we got that. But there's still Investigate Horde and Baffles map. We found that as well. But I'm assuming that this map is pointing to an area over here, right? I don't know why the pipes have exploded here either. So back at the swimming pool... They're both over there. I could get a sneak attack in, but... Hmm. How am I gonna do this? I could try to use the Q-beam, but... Or, I could try and get closer and get a sneak attack with the shotgun. Which would be nice, of course. I'm gonna have to hoof it out of here once I've... Sh shot it! Oh, that didn't do much. I think I was maybe looking at the wrong... Oof. The wrong health bar. Oh no, it's definitely there. It's definitely there. Run away, run away, run away. Oof. It was flying faster than I anticipated. Is it still there? I think it is. But I still have a few pistol bullets now. So if it gets closer to the door... I can actually get closer through this way. And sneak in and out with a closer view. Mary is out of the way. There we go. 
and we can start uh, peeking out again. So I think after my next burst, because I don't want to waste too much bullets on this thing, uh, I'm going to go for the Q-beam. There we go. And then swap over to the Q-beam. Wait till it's fully done shooting me. I think it's quiet now. It's filling up nicely, and I think the jumping board is in the way. There we go. So she's now unconscious as well. Okay. I'm gonna reload this thing. I took quite a bit of ammo, but I still have one and a half batteries left. So Mary's down for the count, and she has a weapon upgrade kit. She has a weapon upgrade kit that's going into the stun gun. The stun gun. Yeah, the stun gun. So let's upgrade this thing and upgrade its power to four and a half seconds. And I'm hoping that the next one is more than that. So zero points. So three quarters of a second there. That's nice. Okay, okay. Slowly getting there. We have a bunch of suit repair kits as well, I think. Yeah, we have two stacks, so might as well use one. Just to get my suit up to full. And then get back to the pistol. Let's quickly scan this place again. And it seems to be fine. So let's grab those 15 Typhon organs. Which is really nice. We can make neural molds of that. Is there anything else in this room? Aside from me being nice. Oh yeah, the fit. Wait. This thing. I need to knock on it, right? Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. You scared the shit out of me. Didn't realize that was water. Morgan? Yes. If you're here, then... Abby didn't make it, did she? I don't... I can help. I know you need to get into deep storage. I voice locked it, but I have the override that bypasses the random word input. Set your transcribe to record. Alex, Oedipus Complex. Pompous. Nepotist. No offense to your brother, but that should be enough. Okay, great. But watch your step. There's someone else in crew quarters pretending to be the cook. His tracking bracelet's from Psychotronics, but uh, the ID doesn't make any sense. He... I think he's the one that killed Abby. If you can, make sure he doesn't get off the station. I'll see what else I can do to help from out here. For as long as I can. I mean, you can come Goodbye, in now. Morgan. No, no, you can, you can come in. No, no, please, please don't, please don't go. Where is she going? Okay. We completed gathering echoes now in one go, because of, uh, because of her. So now we have the voice control lock, because we heard from her a few. Yeah, Danielle's show. We heard from her a few times already. That was a cool little bit. Kill the imposter cook. That's killing. Can I just take him out? Is that enough as well? Well done finding Chief Show. You've got what you need to get into deep storage. So I've been thinking about... Wait, what's this? That's the... Abigail, I'm recording this time. You too, Emma. It's fine. Danielle's joining us. She'll cover us if we get into trouble. She said yes? We negotiated. I had to say yes to some things too. Okay. That's weird, but fine. Is this one of those hidden ones again? Oh yeah, another save. There we go. I love this. I love this game. Uh, we got, we got, we got, we got one of those thingies, right? The scope thingies, potentializer, increase maximum side pool by fifty. So we don't really need that either. Any defense stuff I can get, I will. But otherwise. Resistance to fear? No, I'm gonna keep the psycho shock resistance and the mimic detection. That is fine by me, but with that neuromod that's still in there, there we go. And the backlash reactor, what's that? Come on, the backlash reactor. Backlash has a chance to return damage to the attacker. Definitely will equip that. I still have three more spaces, so fine with that. And then the neuromods. So the neuromods allow us to go into leverage three. And that's one I really want to have, because that's going to open up a few uh, pathways there. Both in here and further along. So, let's see. Do we want to kill... I don't want to kill anybody. 
I could kill the cook, but he's probably I probably can't target him either. Because he's probably just running around here somewhere. But taking out that telepath, I think we should now have free rain in here, right? Unless there's another phantom running around, but I can't really defend against that now, that can I? So Jorgen Thorsteins. Ooh, this is a big one. This is a big one. We've heard a lot about Thornstein's uh, stuff, so he's gonna have collected a lot of things, right? Come on, you've been you've been beefing this up. So we have emails, a few more exotic materials, and I hear weird, weird noises next to me. That's oh, weapon upgrade kit. Thank you. The slide inf and that is another one. Reduces damage sustained while sliding. Okay, that, not that I slide that much, but... And then a recycler charge fabrication plant. I don't think I had that one yet. You see, recyclers are really, really interesting. Because I think I can just toss that into any room. And dismantle even the things that are... Um, well, knocked down. Well, just lying around here that you can pick up. But it transforms that into materials as well. But two emails. My new reployer. I just wanted to write to you personally and thank you for the new reployer. So we saw that. And then that. So we saw those two emails before. If I recall correctly. But other than that, we just found those exotic materials and that weapon upgrade kit. Which is fine, I suppose. But I, I did expect a bit more. I hear another phantom. But Sylvan Bellamy. So that's one interesting... Ooh. One interesting room after the other. And there we go. Access is quarters. And now we get three more neuro modes. That is awesome. There we go. Finished up that quest as well. We're knocking them down. Another chipset. Subthermal. Super thermal. Super thermal. Oh, that's one for the psychoscope. Boost the amount of damage done by super thermal. That is so cool. That is so cool. Files. Morgan U. Typhon Research. Whoa, 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 whoa. Morgan U. Typhon Research Data. Scan complete. Oh. New psionic aptitude available. Ooh. I mean, I can't do anything with that, but ooh. And then Morgan Solutions. Over the past several tests, Morgan has used different solutions to the same problem. Even though we've been controlling every possible variable. So that was why he was so surprised about our reactions. Room A, for example. In test 9, she exercised precise control to move the boxes one at a time. In test 10, she simultaneously levitated them all straight up a few inches, technically completing the test. Then in 14, she incinerated them. If not for the safety glass, you would have incinerated, been incinerated as well. What is happening after reset that's leading to this variance? So, yeah, I started this conversation a few... <laughs> I realized I started that conversation a few minutes ago, but that... Uh, Audio log in the way. So that indicates to something else. We will reset every single time. And the operator we've been talking to is called January 2035, I think. So that's the year and the month. Uh, so yeah, 2035. Which means that she was created last month. But then we also talked to December, which was probably also... Because we thought that was a bad one. And I'm assuming that every time we reset... We kind of have different ideas about what's going on and make different plans. So December was a completely different plan, but also one that might actually work. So that is where things get interesting. But Phantom pretty close. I'm going to quick save just to be sure. There's another corpse over here for some reason. Uh, do need to be careful because I don't want to get spooked. Is it inside one of the rooms? There's footsteps over here. I don't know where we are right now. Hendrik de Vries, so the doctor. The doctor. It's the doctor. Yes, the doctor. Why is this room different than... Uh... Okay, that's a bit gruesome, but that's that's what a mimic does, right? Where's the mimic? I'm assuming he's not here. Disruptive batteries. That's tube, crumpled paper. That's all interesting. Might actually take out this room, because it seems really, really interesting if I can toss a recycler charge in here. Matthias Cole. So that was the other guy, the psychiatrist, I think. So he's dead as well. Okay, I can't 
carry all of that. Hmm, we really need that recycling, although... anti rad Pharma Fabrication Plan, we've seen that before. Um, 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 do I toss... I'm gonna toss a bunch of stuff. And then use... yeah, I'm just gonna toss that here. And then use a recycler charge and run out of the room. Um, but I'm gonna have to take out those stuff, those things as well, but... So there we go, punched like the, the entire world on the floor. And then I'm gonna have to equip the recycling charge, I forgot about that. There we go. And then, I'm gonna have to toss it around the corner. There we go. Did that actually work? I think it did. Did it remove the corpses? Oh wow, everything's gone. Um, for some reason it didn't take that crumpled paper there, but that's fine. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of... Ooh, that's a lot of everything. That was nice. There we go. Any other orbs around here? Quickly switch. Ooh, yes, there. Look at all of that. Not as much mineral as I would have liked, but that's a start. Yeah, I'm gonna take the crumpled paper. There we go. I can't leave something just lying over here. I'm gonna take the shotgun, by the way, because this really is a phantom. Um, by the way, uh, quick save again. And then... Um, Abigail Foy, so that's Abby. Is this a phantom? Or is it a... Oh god! There we go, it's a normal phantom, that's fine. Ivy Song. Okay, Ivy Song died with two shotgun blasts, and there's another hero bolt in here. This place is awesome. This place is awesome. Danielle missed you, leaving your character sheet here, but I have a spare in case you don't make it back before the game. And don't worry, it looks great. See you at the rec center. So that's another character sheet from the the Fatal Fortress game, so the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. I feel like we're gonna need that. I feel like we're gonna need that. What's the thing that needs repairing here? A broken transcribe. What are you doing? Are you recording this? Joint transcribes are fun. They are not. It's like mental scrapbooking. You both save the moments that matter. Okay. I mean... Dear future us. Today, future us, we are not calling ourselves that. Today, I was able to convince my beautiful but stubborn partner to... Stubborn? <laughs> to stay in bed and not report for an extra shift. And this is the reward I get. Okay. So that's a bit of a conversation between Danielle, between Danielle and Abigail. So that's, that was nice. And then we have her tracking bracelet for some reason. Don't know what I can do with that because we know where she is. And then we have another note. Find missing transcribe. Get my stuff from Abby's cabin. Finish draft of apology letter. Pull head out of as prioritized relationships over work. And there's more. Yeah, so rewritten notes from. Uh, whoo, that's that's heavy. So files, conversation, archive. It's a date. Nope, this sounded serious. So I wanted to shut my transcribe off. So okay, so you're asking me if it's okay to record our game on the transcribes. Yes, uh, I know using the memory, it's not right. I can't be having this conversation. Oh, I I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lose my job for even talking to you about this. What? What? Exactly. What you're going to do is have dinner with me. What? You say what a lot when you should say yes. <sighs> yes, see, all settled. Don't worry about the transcribes. It's not against regulation. So, are you going to invite me to this game or not? Can we save her, please? I mean, I like I like her. I like show. I like Danielle. I really want to save her, but my password. Ooh, Galvino's password. That's from a while back. Holy crap. Danielle, my workstation said it was time to update my password. I wanted to know if it was okay to use Kublai Khan and whether that fits your requirements. Dr. Calvino, for starters, if you have any more questions about passwords, please email the IT department and don't use my personal address. Second, you should never type your password into an email, regardless of how tight your security is, you never know. 
Third, the password guidelines are just that, guidelines. You're all grown-ups and can use whatever you want, but we have a list of recommendations for keeping your password safe. Okay, thanks. So Calvino was the guy we found floating in space, and who was having a bit of memory problems. And preparing for the concert, hey Danielle, I'm pulling a late shift on the bridge tonight and left my transcribe in my pod. Could I convince you to bring it for me on your way to deep storage? By the way, I have some ideas for making our uniforms look a little more pop star for our demonstration at the Tulip. Don't be scared, thanks. And then treasure hunt. So we saw that before. So those are the people in the treasure hunt. And Abigail was actually the one who started the treasure hunt, which is interesting. But... Ivy Song was in this room for some reason, which is also weird. Then we have Abigail, so that's Abby's room. So what was this then? Hey, you've apparently misplaced your transcribe again, just wanted you to know. I still have some of your stuff in my room. Don't know if you want it back, call me or something. So this must be... Oh, so this was Danielle's room, makes sense. We've been hearing about her constantly. Please don't break. And then we have our final rooms, Lorenzo Calvino. So that's the password to his computer, but we can't get into the room. And here we have one more. Okay, the other bathroom was haunted, so this one might as well be his too, right? I'm not looking in the right direction, am I? Why? Was the game anticipating that there's going to be another one of these? Let's read the note. Bill, if you're injured or sick, you get a pass. Otherwise, it is 75 minutes of exercise minimum. Go to the gym is... Yeah, we already had that. The fitness center. Okay. Let's open these up one at a time. There's something over here. Sci hypo. Thank you. I'm going to keep the psychoscope on just in case there's a mimic jumping out. I'm probably going to shotgun it faster in the face than... The speed of light, but anywho, that's that. And then the final thing at the end here was called the habitation pods. So either this guy is over here now. There we go. Oh, okay. What's going? Oh, it's a poltergeist. I'm flying up in the air. That's, that's cool. Where is he? So there's another poltergeist. I need to scan this thing. Ow. I mean, the game is really chill about all of this. There he is. Can I shoot him in the face? I think I can, and I think I just did. Holy crap, that flying in the in the sky did a lot. Okay, so apparently I'm done investigating the poltergeist. That's probably the research on the from Morgan from ourselves then. Because I wasn't complete with that research yet. So these are kinda like mini rooms. Notes. Anders, your package arrived, front desk. If I'm not here, the code 9661 on the gate. I won't tell anyone if you don't pick up. That's the mail room. We've heard about the mail room. The mail room is at the beginning of the, the crew quarters, so that's nice. So we can open up that now. I have eaten fish sticks. So that's nice. Uh, Malaya Fowl, so she's security. Makes sense, so she's uh, actually carrying ammo. And a transcribe. This is Fowls. Officer Fowls. Malia, I have an important request. It's sensitive, though. I need to know I can trust you with a surveillance matter. Uh, yes, of course, sir. It's just that normally I can't do something like that without consent from Chief Elazar HR and another director. Those people report to me, Malia. Yes, sir. I understand. I want you to keep an eye on Annalise Gallegos, where she goes. How she keeps visitors. I'll log everything on the security computer. Good. Send me a report at the end of the week. Yes, sir. Okay, that was weird. The music was also making a big deal out of that. Now we have the yellow tulip. Join us at a private for a private celebration of Trans Star success. And Danielle and Sky were doing a demonstration there. I really want to save Danielle. 
Because she's still alive. I mean, she can just come in. I can protect her. If I need to. Just gonna... Just gonna check around. There's clearly stuff breaking, but... For now, there's not a note here. Hi, mommy. I've been having bad dreams since you left. Dr. Preston said I should draw it, and that would make them go away. I hope you like my picture and come home soon. I love you, Corey. Corey. That is a nightmare. That's one of those big things. Where the hell did he see that? Or do... Or are those things not even real? That would make sense as well. Because that was a very big thing. It would make sense that those can actually go into the station so there's a few more over there oh and the names are actually on there so there we go and then over here that gives us another character sheet we really need those i'm assuming we really need those and then we have one i think i can use the same one to get over here and we have moonshine baseball glove and granger's memories hmm okay Oh, and Tommy's Dad Vodka. Tommy's Dad Vodka. So that's that. That's a habitation pole. So that pretty much makes up the rest of this area. There's a breach over here, but it doesn't seem like we can even fix that. And yeah, with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So next time we will be able to... Ooh, we will be able to check out the rest of this area because we're almost done with it, I think. So we need to open up the mail room and then the recreation center where the Dungeons and Dragons game was gonna end up. And there's a few things we can open up with Leverage Tree now. So that's gonna be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And uh, thank you enormously for watching. Goodbye. Yeah,